My name is Dale Vince. I'm the founder of Ecotricity. I've set myself a challenge. I'm going to build a wind-powered car. It'll be an electric car charged from the wind, so there's zero emissions from it. I want to build a sports car, out-and-out -out sports car. That's the challenge, a wind-powered car. As project manager, I've now become facilitator, finding materials that I'm asked for, picking it up from suppliers and bringing it here. We're getting now that we can just about assemble the car because we've had all the piece, lots of the pieces in roughly and now we need to get the cells in and then once we've got those in we can get the motors in and the controllers on and try them and hopefully in the next three or four days all this is going to come together. Oh, beautiful. Dale's coming along I think to just make sure he keeps the pressure on us that we don't dilly-dally about. He's bringing a um, journalist from The Guardian. It's not going to be a complete running vehicle by any stretch of the imagination but it will be a powertrain function test and we want to make sure that it's working for when he's here. Tim has got a little remote controller so he can adjust it. If I don't know Dale says look I can make the wheels go round and we hope we're going to see the wheels go round. What happened last night was really good because we hit one of our milestones. We put a stake in the ground saying we'd turn the wheels and we've turned the wheels, which means a lot to all of us and I hope it means a lot to Dale. John Vidal from The Guardian's coming along, doing an interview, see the wheels turn, that kind of stuff. It's obviously not finished, we're not saying that it is. The reason for doing the car is because there aren't what I would think of as real electric cars in the world, uh, and certainly there are no wind-powered cars, and there needs to be. And the big motor manufacturers have been very slow. It's not just about one car, it's about 30 million cars in the UK, and uh, how many windmills it would take to power those and all that kind of stuff, you know, the bigger picture. Performance-wise, we wanted a car that would do more than 100 miles an hour. Uh, the range, we chose 150 miles, 0 to 60 in four seconds because we could. Because it's electric, it's got instant torque, all that kind of stuff, faster than a V12 Ferrari, 0 to 60. It makes it go from being something that's ecological and worthy and possibly a little bit sacrificial to something that's exotic and, and you know, desirable. These are F1 guys, top engineers. This is, this is the A-team. A-team of what? A-team of, of motorsport. The A-team of motorsport. I'm a reasonably blindly optimistic kind of person and I just thought, well, we, we must be able to do it. And these guys, I mean, they really knew that stuff when it comes to cars, so I thought if they can't do it, then it can't. The car industry wants $13 billion to bail itself out with. What the heck could you do with $13 billion? I haven't yet calculated how many electric cars you might be able to build for $13 billion, but it'd be a big chunk of the 30 million cars that we have on the road today. I'll see the wheels go around, yes. John. Green light is on. Right. Mission control, we go. One wheel. Quite slow. <laughs> <laughs> that all goes well. This is a wind-powered car. It's not a gimmick. We're getting to the end game of the electric vehicle um, debate, if you like, which is where's the fuel coming from? And uh, electric cars that run off the grid are a big improvement on internal combustion cars, but electric cars run from wind energy um, are, are the ultimate in sustainability. Zero emissions, a fuel source that will never run out. It's the ultimate. In a few months, they have put together what the large car industry has totally failed to do. It's good to see the wheels turn around, you know, and I understand what that means in terms of where we are with the project and stuff like that. It's going to be a great looking car. Um, I'm just keen for them to get the engineering bits cracked, you know, get them, get them out of the way. Um, so I'll probably be more excited later, and then again later, and then again when I get to drive it, probably. So yeah, this is just good progress, that's what it is. We're saying cars of the future need to be wind-powered. That's it, that's the big simple message. And this is a wind-powered car, the first one perhaps. Yeah.